Hey, boo, hey. Hey, boo, hey. Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Because I miss your mother ass listen honey this will be a quick energy check-in for we're gonna see what's fucking sign we're doing right now okay y'all yeah, have to tip off just a little bit try and get some damn work done because tomorrow i'm gonna be acting grown grown honey okay happy valentine's day for everybody who celebrates honey okay even for those of you who don't have a valentine this year baby self-love is the best love i definitely really want to give a big motherfucking salute to those of you who are actually doing the damn inner work and really healing from past mistakes healing from past traumas healing from past toxic ass relationships and really gaining the lesson as well as the well well yeah the lesson of self honey okay the lessons needed to know or the lessons needed to be learned around mastering self all right so let's see what sign are we doing spirit what okay damn y'all popped out my gemini <laughs> my yin yang gemini twins honey what's popping all right gemini let's get it all right so this will be a timeless reading okay uh, whenever this reading finds you, it was when it was well well intended to find you, all right? And if it found you, it found you for a reason. You guys take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? This message ain't finna resonate with every damn body. Listen, bitch, don't put on that motherfucking shoe if it's too big for you. Because your ass gonna fall. That's on period, all right? Leave that damn shoe for a bitch that can fit it. Done, all right? If you're new to the family, hey, boo, hey, we're a little dysfunctional over here, all right? Keep in mind, I cuss. I'm an artist. <laughs> I do. This is my shit, though, okay? I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right damn now to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you with that cussing. I'm a cuss, all right? Thanks for the likes, share, subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, all that. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. Thank you for the love and support. Um... Let's get into it. Uh, new family members. Hey, we a little dysfunctional. We don't fight in fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. However, we do cuss. We share. We grow. We enlighten. We laugh. We love. Posy vibes only. Positive type things. All right? So without further ado, let's jump into it. Gemini. 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 Bitch, I'm surprised your head have not exploded. Some of you all are really heavily in your head as it pertains to the future. For some of you all, this is more so on the, at, on the side of worry, okay? Or this overly... Um, I'm hearing the outcome. Some of you all are waiting to see, or you, you're, you're impatiently motherfucking waiting to see the outcome of something. Some of you all are just praying for good news is what I'm hearing. Picking up, I'm picking up on some of you all just are really praying to hear good news back from something. Um, I am picking up on this energy. If this is having to do with any type of like application, whether this is like for a position, whether this is like for some type of assistance, whether this is for some type of program, I definitely pick up on something being, um, something being positively, um, you're getting some type of positive news when it comes to some type of application or some type of assistance that you actually apply for, okay? I'm also picking up on something having to do with immunity, health, okay? So some of you guys could definitely be working on restoring your health, okay? Some of you all, some of you all could definitely be shifting the way that you eat or shifting something about your diet. Some of y'all, I'm also picking up on something having to do with fasting. Some of y'all could be fasting from eating meat, okay? This could be red meat. This could be any meat, hell. This could be toxic meat, bitch. Listen, Gemini's y'all some fucking man eating. This is why everybody, your ex from 20 years ago, mad because you ain't getting a motherfucking chance to seventh grade on some shit. They be randomly in your DM with a whole motherfucking wife and a side chick. Some of y'all are also tired of people approaching you who want to put you in third party relationships. Gemini, I feel like some of y'all is taking a whole sabbatical from people. I'm hearing that some of y'all are really in this space of having like very much so heightened in the wishing. Clear audience could be of significance. Some of y'all are able to actually hear your spirit guides. I'm hearing coming into some type of spiritual and inheritance okay so some of you all could definitely have Sagittarius in your chart or be dealing with one but I'm picking up on a lot of celestial energy as it pertains to the home the environment okay some of y'all may be seeing shit move in your motherfucking house at this time I am picking up on something having to do with angelic presences okay or something having to do with supernatural beings some of you all may be getting very um some, I'm hearing something about documentaries okay so this could have to do with like cultural documentaries I'm also hearing something having to do with anthropology history okay linguistics language foreign languages some of you all may be wanting to pick up on um, learning another language at this time 
I'm also hearing something having to do with, um, I'm hearing roots, root, root worker, roots, you're the roots, getting to the root of the issue, roots, roots. Some of you all are avoiding having a conversation possibly with a child, okay? This could be an adult child. This could even be um, a little child or maybe some of you all, some of y'all could intuitively, intuitively feel that your baby is shifting or this could be a grandchild as well. Somebody need to have a fucking conversation about this or with their kids as it pertains to the birds and the bees. And whoever this is, it's a very uncomfortable conversation because I'm picking up on not a child that's between like 15 or, you know, 17 or some shit like that. This is a child between the ages of like 10 and like 12. Okay. I'm picking up on something having to do with sex education, sex ed. I'm also hearing something having to do with, okay, so I'm hearing something about monitoring. I heard parental controls. Some of y'all need to check y'all children's phones, okay? Your grandbaby's phones because somebody watching some shit, they ain't got no business. I'm literally seeing something having to do with the TikTok. I heard, I heard TikTok, TikTok, okay, TikTok creator porn. What? TikTok creator porn or something about your children and TikTok monitoring their TikTok, especially if you have a child between the ages of four and nine years old. Okay. Some of y'all, I'm even hearing four to 12 for some of y'all. Okay. Some of y'all, this could be a 10 to 12 year old as well, but I'm hearing four to nine for sure. All right. Something about what they're watching on TikTok is inappropriate. And this is why your, uh, your, your baby may be acting weird or having questions about certain things. They're curious. I'm hearing curiosity, motherfucking guilty cat. Okay. Some of you all also, some of y'all, <clears throat> I'm hearing out of body experience, okay? Some of you all may be actually like experiencing some type of like cerebral feeling as it pertains to the crown chakra and something about this, your spiritual sight, your spiritual sight being activated or maybe you activate the spiritual sight of others, okay? But I am picking up on something having to do with like healing energy or you recognizing your gifts, your ability to heal, you recognizing and mastering some type of ability or some type of gift, Okay. I'm also picking up on something having to do with movement, travel, location. Some of y'all could also be planning some type of trip. I'm hearing something having to do... I'm hearing Virgin Islands. Maybe you're from the Virgin Islands, okay? Virgin Islands. I'm also hearing something having to do with Jamaica. Someone could also be thinking about or manifesting a trip to Egypt as well. I'm hearing West Africa, Jamaica. I think I said Jamaica. I'm also hearing Bahamas, Cancun. Some of you all are planning some type of, um, I'm hearing girls trip, girls trip. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could definitely have fucking Gemini and Sag in your chart, all right? I'm also picking up on worries having to do with like investments, your future investments. Some of you all could be um, transitioning within your damn career or some of you all are wanting to, um, wanting to go into some type of like, I'm hearing, I'm hearing switching industries, okay? So for some of you all, this could have, let's say, for instance, you've been working in a damn medical field and maybe you wanted to transition into the beauty industry, okay? I am picking up on something having to do with like bundles, hair, selling hair. Someone, either you create your own damn hair or you're um, creating some type of branding around our hair brand, okay? Something about hair, beauty, makeup, the beauty industry. If you're in the beauty industry, I'm also hearing somebody needs to lift their prices, okay? somebody's too gifted or someone's not charging their worth i'm also picking up on again not settling not settling is going to be significant for some of you all this have to do with what it is that you do some of y'all are completely burnt the fuck out on what it is you do i'm also hearing not putting your eggs in one basket so some of y'all could have been working on or some of y'all are in the process of working on creating another revenue or some type of passive income okay some of you all are really uh really focusing on focusing um on your creativity and monetizing on your gifts all right some of you all are healers some of y'all could also be making some type of um i'm seeing oils okay this could be like herbal oils or like i'm hearing brews so some of y'all could also be working on either you're drinking some type of detox tea you could have recently ordered a detox tea or you're actually like something having to do with someone making some type of holistic products or someone's a holistic practitioner okay I'm also picking up on something having to do, some of you guys could be healing some type of deep-rooted issue around abandonment, okay? Something having to do with mastering, um, something having to do with, like, mastering the, the way that you perceive abandonment. It's like God's, 
man's protect man's rejection is God's protection. Some of you all were being protected from something. Some of y'all is kind of stuck on waiting for some type of closure to come from a situation or for someone to explain themselves. But for whoever this is, I definitely pick up on if someone just ghosted you or something to that extent, I definitely pick up on some of y'all could definitely be intuitively picking up on this person's energy or picking up on this person thinking about you. This person could also be sending you telepathic messages through song, but I'm picking up on this energy where if someone goes to you, some of you all are finding out or something's being like something's falling in your lap once you actually choose to detach from something or detach from needing to know the ending result of something. OK, because some of y'all is missing out on the whole damn experience, overly obsessing about the goddamn outcome of things. OK, <clears throat> I'm hearing embrace the journey, embrace the pathway, Gemini. Some of y'all also, uh, I am hearing some type of like unexpected car repair. Some of y'all just have to do with your brakes. Some, somebody need to change their damn brakes, okay? Let y'all know you hear that damn grinding. Fuck. Some of y'all need to, you, you're being cautioned to change your brakes. I'm also hearing something having to do with the like, the tire rods. The tire rods. Someone needs to change their tire rods in the front. Something about the tire rods. I'm picking up on more of the like passenger side of the vehicle especially if you drive an suv i see i see a champagne color suv this could be a chevrolet this could be an equinox i'm also seeing a, a nissan pathfinder and a kia soul the kia soul is black the pathfinder has like a dark bluish I don't know, did you custom paint that? It's like a dark bluish, like aqua type color. I can't even explain it. It's little, it looks as if it's two-tone. This is some custom paint. Some of you guys could also work uh, in the field of like customization. I'm hearing something having to do with the clothing line. Some of y'all could be working on a clothing brand, okay? I'm also hearing sponsorships, contracts. Some of you all are open to collaboration in this season. And some of y'all are actually like working on some type of collaboration, especially if it has to do with like presenting something in the public or presenting something to a community of people. This could be a religious community. This could be a spiritual community. But I am picking up on the sense of community, okay, and networking. Some of you all could be event coordinators. I'm also here. Okay, so I'm seeing something having to do with decor. Some of you all could be changing like changing things around. I'm also hearing someone buying some new furniture. I see a chocolate couch. It's like a chocolate suede couch. And it's that little fucking... It got an ottoman in the front. And the ottoman is like a chocolate cream color. That's pretty. Come through. Some of y'all are also planning a great escape when you get your taxes, okay? Some of y'all also, if you intuitively been feeling like you need to go file the child, especially if you're going through some type of like separation or custody battle, I do pick up on some of y'all intuitively feeling that you need to like do something before another person. If you've been intuitively feeling as if you need to move money around or <coughs> file a child before, I feel like someone, if someone's coming around playing nice, this individual is trying to finesse you out your damn baby somebody need to uh, somebody's trying to secretly claim a child for income tax if you've been feeling like you need to do like file some damn taxes before somebody who you have a child with you might want to follow your intuition within the next six to seven days okay i'm also picking up on okay so i'm hearing some of you all have something lying dormant within you. For some of y'all, this could have been a gift that you had at childhood. I am picking up on something having to do with like airbending singing, okay? So some of y'all could be singers. Some of you all are musicians. Some of you all could write music. Again, a lot of focus around monetizing on your gifts. Some of you all are done working for people. I am picking up on something having to do with like um some type of rehabilitation center. Some of y'all could work with veterans, I am picking up on something having to do with like some type of outbreak. Some of y'all could also be in the um in the medical industry as well. I'm hearing something having to do with a malpractice suit or someone if, if, if maybe you had a loved one that could have recently undergone surgery. I'm hearing something having to do with a malpractice suit. I feel like this is like a parent figure, a motherly figure, okay? A motherly figure or a fatherly figure, but this is like a matriarch or a patriarch energy, but I'm definitely getting parent, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with the passing of a grandparent. Baby, my condolences go to you if you just recently lost a grandparent, okay? Or a parent. Listen, I'm sending you a whole bunch of love healing and restoration energy because that's not easy and understand that healing has no expiration date listen heal okay but i love you baby Mwah. all right i am picking up on some type of like 
obsession or like weird taboo when it comes to the subject around death okay and how death is seen um, amongst the realms i'm hearing something having to do with the gatekeeper gatekeeper some of you all could actually be astro traveling or astro projecting and actually like running into a gatekeeper or i'm hearing something having to do with a lot of activity within the subconscious realm I'm also hearing something having to do with spiritual intrusion. Maybe someone's intruding within your dream space. It's like somebody's not talking in the physical, but they got a whole bunch of fucking shit to say in the realms. And it's really frustrating to you. Some of y'all could be um, looking into doing cord cutting rituals or some type of cord cutting. Some of you are also, I'm hearing past life recognition. Some of you all are recognizing. It's like through the... There's a lot of revelations going on within your dream space, Gemini. I pick up on some of you all being warned of some type of future event within your dream. I'm hearing in the near future, especially if this is involving some type of like hidden money and family. Okay. All right. Paternity is what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up on something having to do with someone has like someone's ancestors have abandoned them. Like someone feels disconnected from source or someone. I'm hearing something having to do with abusing divination. All right. This could also be somebody who comes off as a fucking Christian or comes off as very religious, but behind the scenes, this person could be in a position of power. Okay. Some of you all, I'm literally hearing something having to do with a pastor. Some of y'all could be waiting on the fall of a damn pastor. Some of y'all could have also like whatever it is that you predicted or whatever it is that you foreseen coming. I am hearing 2020 could be of significance with this. For some of you all, I'm hearing mid 2021, but whatever it is that you foreseen or predicted, some of you all are getting a front row seat to someone's like, I heard self-destruction. Okay. Some of y'all are watching someone be humble and I feel like you feel very bad for this individual, but at the same time, spirit says, forgive, but don't forget about the experience. Don't forget about the lesson that that taught you, especially as it pertains to relationships and what it is that you allow, taking accountability for the part that you played. I'm hearing the blame game is no more. Okay. That's for somebody. Some of you all are in very, some of y'all is really in this, like really exuding this empress energy. I am picking up on a lot of compliments, a lot of like something having to do with style. Okay. Some of y'all could work in the fashion industry or maybe you're being called uh, to the fashion industry. Okay. I am picking up on something having to do with a brand ambassador. Some of you all could be beauticians. I am picking up on a lot of patronage or influx in business. If you work uh, around mentoring, some of you all are mentors. Some of you all could also be spiritual counselors, spiritual life coaches. I'm hearing marriage counselors. This could also be family counseling. I am hearing something having to do with the importance of like putting yourself, putting your self care first. Some of y'all are feeling very drained, especially if you're dealing with people one-on-one -on -one every damn day. Some of y'all is feeling very emotionally drained. I'm hearing empathic. Some of y'all are empathic sponges and there's a need for you to cover your head or covering your head could be of significance. Okay. I'm also picking up on someone uh, going on or starting. I'm seeing something about locks. Maybe you possibly do locks or maybe you're thinking about growing some locks. Okay. Yeah, Mercury, okay? So some of you all could be being called in the field of communications, okay? Some of you all could be wanting to teach. I am hearing something having to do with the workshops or furthering of education, all right? Some of y'all could also work in the media industry. I'm hearing photography, videography. Maybe you're planning. Uh, some of y'all could be looking for a photographer for a child's birthday party. That's what I'm hearing. Especially if you have a Pisces child or an Aries child. Clear audience. What the hell I tell y'all? Clear audience. Archangel Zachiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. I feel like things are coming to you synchronistically. Some of y'all are seeing 444 at this time as well. I am picking up on something having to do with synchronicities of 7777999 as well, okay? Something's coming to an end. Something's coming to a close, Gemini. I'm picking up on this energy where you there's a need just for you to surrender. Surrender to the process. Some of y'all are having a hard time with being patient. Again, there's this obsession over the need to know every damn step but away how something's going to go. Some of y'all is exhausting yourself or draining yourself or waiting for somebody to get their karma. Like somebody wants to be justified for... Somebody wants their... I'm hearing someone wants their abuser to come to justice, okay? 
This could be like someone who you were either married to or in a long-term relationship with, Gemini. Like, bitch, what I say? What I'm good, I'm good. Divine order. I definitely pick up on like divine order being at play here or faded events meant to occur. I am picking up on someone going through, I'm hearing pressing charges or someone getting a protective order. If you've been intuitively feeling like you need to get a protective order against someone, I am picking up on water energy. So I heard cancer. I heard Virgo. I'm also hearing Aquarius, Sagittarius, okay, Scorpio. Um, For some of you all, I'm also so hearing Taurus, all right? If you've been feeling like you need to get a protective order, if you're going through some type of like divorce or separation, things are being divinely orchestrated for them to work in your favor. You guys are really, this is like redemption season for Gemini. Some of you all are really walking in your power. You're really exuding that beauty, that radiance, that wisdom you're teaching, okay? Some of you all could also be getting into like divinative arts or divination. I'm hearing fire scrying, water scrying, working with the elements, elemental, elemental magic, okay? angelic protection sigil symbolism could also be of significance again linguistics okay the origin of the human language some of y'all could be heavily studying humanity and how humanity works i'm also hearing something having to do with aquatic science or manifesting with the element of water water manifestation okay fire again fire scrying water scrying some of you all could also be doing candle magic or someone's candle. Spirit is saying something about someone's candle magic backfiring or someone feeling like um, someone feeling. I'm hearing otherworldly presences. OK, some of you all may not have the gift of actually seeing spirits, but some of you all could like feel that there's a presence in your home, especially if you just recently moved. Some of y'all need to motherfucking check the goddamn facts about the origin of that property that you moved in or that building because I am hearing some type of like environmental interference. This could even be like negative negative influences of your environment. Some of y'all are getting ready to move. I am hearing by April, okay? If you are, so, okay, so I'm also hearing something about not renewing a lease or your ancestors are trying to tell you not to renew the lease. I am hearing something having to do with the slumlord. Some of y'all is dealing with a slumlord or maybe you're helping someone to like litigate legally or take legal action um, as it pertains to a slumlord. Some of y'all could work in the legal field as well. I'm also hearing assets, property management, property property assets could also be coming up at this time okay or the um the, the dividing of property and assets i'm also picking up on some type of like sibling some type of warfare between siblings as it pertains to um not selling a property that could have belonged to like someone inherited a property that was like the family's house and maybe another person is trying to sell it out of damn greed due to their circumstances and not looking at the sentimental value. I am picking up on some type of mediator or a family member coming in to mediate a situation to allow things to go smoothly, okay? But I am picking up on something in regard regarding children and a lot of questions, all right? Some of y'all also have um, children who are Okay, so I mean, I'm hearing something about cleansing your children, giving your children a spiritual bath, uh, Gemini. I am picking up on if your children have been acting a little not themselves. I am picking up on star seeds being spiritually attacked. So this could come in the form of nightmares. This could also come in the form of like maybe a baby not having issues or you or your child having issues when it comes to insomnia or not being able to sleep. I am picking up on, again, a lot of heightened spiritual activity around you. There's a need for you to really cleanse your space, declutter your space. Something having to do with your environment, Gemini, is going to be significant, twins. All right? Some of you all are being promoted to a leadership position. There's some type of promotion or elevation and status that's actually approaching you or that, that you're manifesting at this time, Gemini. And it's really beautiful. I am picking up on the energy to like... <clears throat> I am hearing don't be overly self-critical because for some of y'all, you more so in your head than you actually putting in motherfucking action and spirit is saying it's time to move, okay? For some of y'all, it's literally time to move. If you were questioning moving out of the city, out of the state, I am hearing something having to do with like, um, I'm hearing like demographic astrology. I don't even know what the hell that's called, but demographic astrology. I don't know what, what that is where people can actually like, um, put in their information, like their date of birth and all just like a, just like a regular birth chart would be analyzed, but it actually gives you like the demographic, like karma around where you should be, where you're not supposed to be, or something that someone predicted as it pertains to where you're supposed to move. Maybe you're getting an opportunity to travel. And I feel like there's some type of like epiphany that you're going to have regarding what someone told you, or maybe a dream that you had. So deja vu, premonitions, visions, okay. Or some type of, um, something that's revealed to you in a meditative state could be of significance. I'm hearing, 
I'm hearing, okay, out of nowhere, you know what to do, all right? Or something coming unexpectedly, but when you need it, on time, all right? On time. Some of you all could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius, okay? I'm picking up on the need to communicate. Some of y'all are lacking communication in your relationship, and I definitely pick up on it's picking up, it's making another person feel... It's making another person really question like their value in your life. Some of y'all need to have a conversation about some of y'all is unhappy in relationships and you stick in there due to guilt out of obligation. But I definitely pick up on <laughs> this year, 2022, some of y'all are choosing to take your motherfucking life back and you're choosing. It's like I'm hearing clean state, clean slate, like spirit is giving you a clean slate. And for some of you all, again, uncomfortable conversations. I picked it up in Sagittarius as well as the air sign reading um, on fucking Instagram that I did recently on that damn live, but uncomfortable conversations. For some of you all, you're telling somebody, listen, you don't please me sexually. Some of you all are wanting to try and explore new things and new experiences sexually and some of y'all got a motherfucking partner that's not really with the, that's not really with that but some of you all feel as if someone's holding you back or dimming your light due to their mundane ways of motherfucking being and some of y'all want to live and i feel like some of you all have been manifesting that and so whatever the fuck is falling the fuck down jim now allow it to fall stop trying to control how something happens or control if you're going to be in the fucking upper if you're going to if you're going to have the upper hand in the situation okay some of y'all could be dealing with a sagittarius I right some of y'all could also be dealing with the libra or taurus okay or there's a need for you to really really love on yourself and really indulge in beautiful things indulge in nature really connect with the elements some of y'all are really needing to get outside and get some damn sun and heal some of you all could also be gardening at this time or i'm also hearing something having to do with like plant divination could also be of significance some of you all could be buying a lot of plants or there's a need to um i'm hearing something about a bamboo plant and your abundance feng shui could be of significance okay some of you all are wanting to like bring um plants in your home i am hearing something having to do with that really indulging in that venusian energy some of you all could have taurus or libra in your chart there could also be some type of significance as it pertains to being patient with a situation or how a situation turns out between a mother or a child okay because i am picking up on a lot of mothering energy with that i'm also here i'm also hearing something about um a grant as it pertains to um I'm hearing something about a, a, a at home daycare, daycare service, child care service, or some type of like after school program. Some of you all have a life purpose around children, all right? Some of you all work with children who are sensitive or have some type of like disabilities or learning disorders. I'm also hearing some type of like online tutoring or online content as it pertains to tutoring. Some of y'all could also want to write online children's books as well but a lot of focus around productivity and creativity for my for my damn gemini's at this time okay again they go that damn aquarius all right so this is supposed to be a quickie so we're gonna wrap this thing on up gems all right let's get into it i didn't expect the channel as long as i did so let's get it i look up in this damn 20 minutes 27 minutes all right some y'all could have a pisces moon this could even be you i'm pulling some astrological placements this could be you or someone in which you're dealing with okay all right so you guys got aries okay i'm picking up on someone someone plotting like a secret move okay i'm also picking up on a sticky situation of somebody i'm hearing anonymous call anonymous call Gemini, I feel like somebody gonna play a dirty damn game when it comes to your children, or maybe you're plotting to do this with somebody with their children, but this is gonna backfire tremendously, okay? So let me see. Don't do it, Gems. Sometimes the petty ain't worth it. Pisces Moon. This could be your placements or someone in which you're dealing with, all right? I'm also hearing someone... I'm hearing, I'm ready to sign them papers. Somebody's planning their great fucking return. They look, they, 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 they great fucking escape. You guys got Pisces, Libra rising, Aquarius. There's also something being illuminated regarding an Aquarius or a Leo, possibly a Taurus, a fixed sign energy. Okay. Are you seeing someone's intentions? It's like something, something has been hidden in plain sight. Some of y'all are seeing a situation for what it is or the reality of something, something that you didn't want to see is what I'm hearing. This could be regarding a family member, okay? Taurus, Capricorn rising, Taurus rising, Cancer, Aquarius rising, 
Cancer rising. Sagittarius. Okay? So y'all let me know how they resonate, gems. I love you long time. And until next time, peace, love, and many blessings. Bye, my babies.